Welcome back to Designs by Carrie Ann. Um, today I'm going to try a, um, do another attempt at a balloon smash. My last try was eh, not so great. So I practiced a couple of times and I think I might have figured out a better way to, to get the results I'm after. And also, um, while doing that, I'm trying to um, take part in Mixed Media Girls Valentine, uh, Valentine's Day contest or challenge, I guess. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to do that. I've got my heart here. Um, it's a wooden heart. I just picked this up at the dollar store. It's very, very thin, just a very thin little panel. And I'm going to coat this, I think lightly, with just some white, um, white paint mixed with Floetrol. This is Artist Loft Flow Acrylics, white. I'm just gonna put this on here. I've never painted on a wooden panel before, so that's new to me, but we'll see what happens. I'm kind of excited to try something different. It's Like I said, it's very lightweight. I, you can barely bump it and it will fall, <laughs> fall off its uh, supports here, but I'll be careful. Okay, so like I said, I've got a Valentine's Day theme and I'm also going to do the balloon smash. So I've got this balloon, as sad as it looks, that I used <laughs> on my last attempt at a balloon smash. And I think the shape of it is going to work okay. It's kind of oddly shaped. I got these at the dollar store, you know, of, I don't know, 20 in a pack or something for a buck. So I wasn't expecting high quality, but <laughs> this is what I got. So um, the paints I'm using today, I am using a Deco Art um, metallic, and this is a purple pearl. So I'm just going to take little dollops of this around sort of the perimeter of this heart. And then I'm going to add another color, and then I will start smashing. I really just want the decoration to be on the perimeter of the heart. And the background to be white. I'm kind of wondering if I need to add a little bit more white to my base here. You can see it's pretty thin in the in the center. So let's do that real quick. I won't be tilting this, so I'm going to have to force the paint around beforehand. Make sure I have good coverage in the center here because I don't have, I don't plan to have anything uh, decoration-wise in the center. I just want it to be plain white in the middle. So hopefully that will sort of self-level, since I do have the Floetrol in my paint mix. Floetrol is supposed to be self-leveling, so um, cross our fingers on that. The other color I'm using is um, a Liquitex Basics, and this is magenta. But I wanted to pick some colors that weren't necessarily traditionally Valentine's Day type colors, you know, reds and pinks. And this is, I guess, the closest I could get to not completely being cliche about this. So I've got a purple and I guess it's really pink. <laughs> it's magenta technically. So the big thing I learned as I was practicing my balloon smash is um, I think the last time I tried it, I thought I was getting pretty decent results by pressing down the balloon tip and then rolling off of the canvas, and that did okay. But as I kept goofing around, um, I think I decided that I have better luck if I kind of have the balloon kiss the canvas and then sharply pull away. <laughs> I don't know what kind of kiss that would be. So I'm going to go around to all these spots where I've put my dollops of paint, and then I think I'll go back around and kind of fill in the blank spots. Well, that one looks good. These guys, yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe second time around. <laughs> second time around, hopefully they'll look a little better. That one's not so bad. So 
So you might notice that I'm off camera here. I'm wiping my um, balloon off every so, on, every so often. So I've got a lot of paint on there. This time I'm not going to because I need to move some from one side to the other. Take some of this off and bring it over here. This uh, little uh, wooden heart is so lightweight. What do you get for a buck, right? I'm afraid it's going to fall off here. I really like this over here. That's pretty. The colors seem to be getting along well. It's very, uh, very Valentine's Day looking, which is the plan. don't really want to go over these two because I'm happy with the way they look so I'll skip past them keep moving around here so if anyone has tried a balloon smash let me know down in the comments and tell me what you've found that works well like are you putting more pressure on than you think you need to or less pressure more paint, less paint. Are you mixing your paint differently for this technique? I didn't. I did my typical Floetrol and um, paint, like I always do. I kind of want to bring a little bit more paint into this. It's very uh, subtle. Normally my paintings are pretty, uh, pretty vibrant. Maybe it's just the colors. I can, it looks to me that this wooden heart is warping a little bit, which is awesome. <laughs> Again, I paid a buck for it, so that's what you get. A little bit of paint off this cup over here. Didn't work. And I don't think I'm going to torch this. I'm just going to let it dry. And I decide that I'm done messing with it, which is always kind of a challenge for me to know when to stop. Tell you what, this is kind of fun actually. This would be a good project for kids. Yep, I definitely think that the kiss technique works best for me. Which I guess is kind of appropriate for the Valentine's Day theme, right? Mwah. <laughs> okay, a couple more times around and I think we're gonna call it. To bring this paint over here a little. All right, guys, I think that's good. What do you think? Let this guy dry. I might end up, end up putting a little bit more white in the center because that's very thin. But, yeah, there's my better example of a balloon smash, I believe, this time. So, guys, let me know what you think down below. Um, and if you like it, give me a thumbs up. I'd love that. If you want to make some comments, please do. And don't forget to subscribe. <clears throat> Excuse me, don't forget to subscribe, and we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.